able to beat Skimbo in their meaningful game. Last year in the Madden, Champion, Madden Challenge Championship for $20,000, Mo was able to beat Skimbo. The first tournament Skimbo ever went to, he lost to Mo in the Final Four. So this has been a rivalry that's been dominated by Mo. And Skimbo's going to have to get over that hump. Well, let's take a look at the money picks for Michael Skimbo. And it is a slew of wideouts. Great players. He has that Mike Evans at safety, but most importantly, he has the tip drill ability. A lot of players in his secondary have that. It lets them always intercept the ball off the tip. You see Ocho Cinco, Demarius Thomas, Aaron Rodgers, and Randy Moss, who he loves to throw that wheel route to in the end zone. Yeah, we saw him be huge in the red zone. Uh, for Michael Skimbo was Randy Moss. And, of course, Rodgers and Moss, we're going to see a ton of them and throughout these 32 players. And for Skimbo, this is huge. This is huge for him. I know it's just group stage, but anytime he faces off against Mo, it's going to be big. And, and serious Mo is locked in. His, his ranking is number 16 as far as the 32. But this is not only a top five matchup here in the current Madden 17, I believe this is a top five matchup of all time players. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more, Scott. And when you see that 16 seed, that doesn't truly represent Sirius Mo. He is always considered to be a top five player amongst the community. And he is somebody that I think is primed to make a run in this tournament. Let's take a look at his money five, who looked good in the first game against Canes. And there's... Prime time along with Champ Bailey. And again, you see that tip drill ability with Champ Bailey. A lot. That's a new meta in the game. A lot of people like that ability because oh, there's a lot of passing. And when the ball gets knocked down, you need your guys to intercept it. You got Ocho and Moss both with the playmaker ability. It lets them adjust their routes quickly uh, during the play if the quarterback tells them to. And then you got Aaron Rodgers, the, guns, uh, the conductor. Well, you, we've known both of these players. Let's look at their scouting report brought to you by Xbox. Skimbo, it's get over the hump. We've talked about it. There's two humps he actually needs to get over in this event. First, it's winning a live event. This is the guy that's made Final Fours at a live event, two championship games, but he's yet to win one. And he's also yet to beat Serious Mo in a meaningful game at one of these live events. He needs to get over that hump, Scott. For Serious Mo, it's make a statement. You are in this tournament. Tournament. You are playing with a heavy heart. We already know the story. You're a big game player, and you're going up against somebody that you usually dominate. You need to come out, do what you normally do, and make a statement and show people that you're here, ready to rock. Well, here we go, partner. It's Skimbo kicking off to Sirius Mo. And I love the Cowboys in those blue uniforms that you never see. And Dion takes that out of bounds at the 20-yard line, and that's where Sirius Mo will go to work. Oh, let's go, Scott. As a fan of competitive <laughs> Matt, and there's no better game than you want to watch than a Skimbo Sirius Mo showdown at a live event. We got a treat. And here we go. Mo will have the rock first. First and 10 of the 20. And here's some heat, and he has to throw it away. And we do have a flag on the play. It's going to be intentional grounding. And oh, my, that's a huge call. That'll, that'll back him up. Yeah, to the 10. Not a penalty you see often, Scott. It was the, the heat had come in so quickly that he had to just get rid of it. And just like that, it's third and 20, RG. That was a tough break for Mo. You get the hands and the ball in the hands of Randy Moss. You expect them to hold on to it, Scott. Unable to do it right there. He's got Moss and Nuke Hopkins off to his left. Ivory in there to block on a third and long. Rodgers, and that's a good playmaker just to get some of that yardage back. And it's going to be fourth and seven, and no surprise, he's going for it. He's going to go for it, and this is already a big play, Scott. Tail's already wagging, fourth and seven. If you're Skimbo, you can make a huge statement right here by getting an open and drive stop. Got to get rid of it, and he throws a pick to he's Mark Barron. And he gets to 22 yard line, and Skimbo said, I saw that all day. Oh my goodness. You see, Skim, nothing even looks open, and he's just so well prepared. But speaking of preparation, something that's interesting in this matchup, Scott, is Skim says he hasn't been able to see Mo play in quite some time. Yeah. So he wasn't 100% positive what he was going to do, but nonetheless looked great on defense right there on the first drive. Yeah, last time we saw Mo was in Houston. And he was getting flooded by problem in the semis. Yeah, but it's still the semifinals. Anyone that makes the semifinals, yeah. Scott, you know that's a big deal. It's not easy to do. So second and one. 
Skimbo goes to the ground game. That'll move the chains. So first and 10 at the 11, knocking on the door. And early, we told us uh, Mo one of the keys to the game. He needed to come out and make a statement, Scott. It's not what he's done early on so far. Skimbo picking up first downs, first to force the interception on fourth down already. Mo's going to need to find a way to get some of this momentum back early. Even if he can hold him to three here. Yep, you got to watch this wheel route for Moss. You know it's coming. See the adjustments. He throws it up. And he's going to be just shy of the end zone. First and goal from the one. And Dion couldn't get out there. And you see Moss in this replay. When he's isolated out there, Scott, on this goal line, it's so hard to commit defenders to him, uh, even though you need to double them because you need to stop the run on the goal line. You got to load the box. You know people want to run the ball in the red zone, and that's what allows Moss to just always get that separation. And that is one of the keyest plays in Skimbo's entire offense. People are going to have to get keen to that. Well, he only had to go 22 yards. Great field position. They just took four plays, RG. Four plays. Here's another look at Moss. Naked, getting stanky. Call that the stanky leg. Stanky leg animation. And then Aaron Rodgers punched it in for the touchdown. And now, serious Mo. Got to go to work here, trailing by a touchdown. You hear Mo talking to himself a little bit. He's feeling this pressure. He knows this is a big game. Remember, both of these guys are 1-0, Scott. If you are able to go 2-0 in this group, the group that people are saying is the toughest group yeah. in this entire tournament, the amount of momentum you get for yourself is insane. Scott Looking downfield has a man, and he'll haul it in at the 39. Great answer right there by Mo. Great answer. Look at this blitz pickup in the replay. Gets Johnson down by the sideline. Has to streak up the seam to stre stretch the safety. Gets the corner up behind the flat. And that's a big play for Mo. Way to get your drive going, especially after getting locked up um, in your first drive. Joey Bosa in on the tackle on first down. A gain of zero, second and ten. You'll see a lot of that Bosa throughout this tournament, Scott. I'll tell you why later. Little play action, gets rid of it, throws in the cup. Oh, and it's picked up. Out of position, Mike Let's Evans. Go. Wow, when we talked about the tip drill, you hear Skimbo screaming at tip drill. But that's that Mike Evans that has that ability that we showed in the top five. You see it, Scott. Once the ball is tipped, he is going to come down with it if he gets his hands on it. And there it was right there, the fiend on Mike Evans playing out of position at safety. So the number one seed leading by a touchdown and throws an absolute strike to Randy Moss. He's over the 50 to the 47-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Skimbo on an impressive start here, Scott. Defensively, offensively, he's just clicking on all cylinders, picking up where he left off against Killer Mike. And he'll throw this one away on first down. Zach, what's going on in our side game? Kane stripped Killer Mike early, then he cashed it in with Ricky Williams, but he doinked the extra point, so he's up 6 nothing with two minutes to go in the first. Dope. That can happen, though. That can happen when you're in a... It's live final. Kicking's not as easy. Oh, mixing extra points is a great remedy to lose games, though. So second and ten. He will uh -oh. throw an absolute Mo bomb. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Seriously. And oh, that no, was Mo feels disrespected, <laughs> Scott. He didn't <laughs> like Skimbo just chucking that into coverage. You see him clicked on stick work for stick work. Skim gets his hands on it first, but in traffic and drops it. Skimbo said earlier he was going to try to throw it deep against the nickel. And on third and ten, Rodgers up underneath the Johnson, and he'll reach for the first down, and he's going to be just shy. Fourth and one at the 38, and be a 55-yarder from there. That was a big tackle by Mo, huh, Scott? Huge. You see him rally up from uh, guard, rally down wrong. from guard on the scene, that. came down, took the underneath route, but Skim doing the smart thing here and going to take three to try to make it two possessions. Guskowski had a 55-yarder in the first game and make it his second 55-yarder of the tournament, and Skimbo uh, leads by 10. Man. And those that might be I'm wondering, on, Scott, when you saw Skimbo kick that field goal, the kick meter is moving extremely slow, but that's because he invested in a chemistry ability that's called focus kicker, which lets the kick meter move as if it's on the rookie speed, even though we're playing on all pro. 
So it's an interesting decision from Skimbo. You invest some of that salary cap on that ability, but it ensures that those field goals are going to be a lot less tougher than they normally would be. Yeah, most guys tank at the tank their salary cap at the kicker position, but it's already proved big for Michael Skimbo, and here comes Sirius Mo. Trailing by 10. Uh-oh. Lobs it up and just out of the reach of Eubanks as Ivory pulls it in at the 49. Now that was a nice pass by Moe. Four verticals, clears him out, playmakers to running back, and the key right there, Scott, was the touch pass. Most people would have bulleted that. It would have got picked off. Moe smart enough to put some touch, throw it over Skimbo's defender, get a big play, and now he's driving right up the field. So Ivory, with his biggest run thus far of the game, will make it second and three from the 44. Moe needs some points on this drive. Both these guys 1-0 and oh in Group A. And here in game number two, Ivory starting to enforce his will as he moves the sticks, first and 10 at the 39. And I like to see Mo get and Ivory involved, Scott. A lot of the times when he's had success against Skimbo, he's done it through the ground. So it's good to see him not getting too pass happy, even though he's down two possessions, and sticking to his game plan. He substitutes Lonnie Pryor in. He goes play action. And that's tipped and then caught. This guy's wide open. Bro. And let's be honest, it's this Nuke Hopkins out of Clemson. Hit off my guy's head. Guy's wide open. <laughs> Mo is frustrated as we see right here. Aaron Rodgers gets hit. It goes <laughs> off of Hopkins' head. He wasn't ready with the quarterback throwing out of the sack. Luckily makes the catch regardless. So DeAndre Hopkins with a big tip drill catch of his own. Oh, it's a fumble. No. And it's picked up. Game. At the 30, recovered by Sirius Mo, And Mo does a good job stepping up in the pocket, but that old line just not able to do it for him. And part of the problem is he didn't invest in his offensive line, Scott. He tanked his players. What I mean there is everyone on his offensive line cost the minimum amount of salary that they could cost. And that's going to allow some of those block sheds and pressures to get in right there and make it harder for you to step up in the pocket. So let's talk about his line. Cliff Averill's done a, a great job for Skimbo in these first two games. But tell me about Joey Bosa and what makes him so special. So Joey, he's a guy you're going to see all over the tournament. And a reason for that, Scott, is when it comes to his ratings, let's wait till right after this play, good hit. He has a 90 pow power move and a 90 finesse move, at least, when it comes to his pass rush ratings. What that means is no matter what, when he's pass running, when he attempts a block shed move, it's a move that's high rated. You get a lot of pass rushers that have one move that's 90, but then another move that's a lower rating. So when they try a move that that's lower rating, they don't always have a good chance to block shed. Joey Boza always has a strong chance to block shed when he goes up against that old line. Yeah, both these guys have Aaron Rodgers, Randy Moss, and Joey Bosa. That's sort of the main. Yeah, when you're looking for a and pass rusher, Scott, you, when you're looking for your pass rusher, you want to look for 90 power move and 90 finesse move. Pick the it's ball. a big difference. Just locks it in. And he's going to have to settle for a field goal. And Skimbo can't believe he's going to pick it off. It so lucky, and that'll man. cut the lead to seven with 425 <laughs> left in the second quarter. Those were big points for Sirius Mo. That was big points for Sirius Mo, Scott. I couldn't agree with you more. To make it one possession against a guy like Skimbo is a huge deal. You cannot fall behind against this guy. His offense is just way too explosive like we saw in his first matchup against Killer Mike. And Ricky Williams can't get to the 20-yard line, so he'll have to start at the 19. If you Look just join us, we're in Group A. Been playing That's right. This is just oh, the second. Man. Game of the tournament. Both just these block, guys man. Won just up. block for me, and I'm going to have a deep ball right Los here. Angeles. Please block. Just block. The Madden 17 Championship. It's been a great year thus far. We still got three more weekends. It's there. It's Johnson. Yeah. Hauls it in at the 33, and Skimbo so confident, calls his shot once again. <laughs> he keeps doing it. These guys are chirping with each other, but he rolls out because he says, just block, give me some time to let this route develop, and let me hit you with a big gain, and then right up the seam for six, and Skim answers right back. How prolific is Mike Skim? It's ridiculous. Demarius Thomas, the Easter edition, and he gets a gift. 
And 17 to 3, RG. Look at that wide open running naked up the seam to Marius Thomas. And if you're Mo, you cannot let it go down that easy. You just put together a tough drive, a lot of plays to get you into the red zone, had to settle for three, and then there goes Skimbo in two or three plays, gets in for six. You got to make them work harder than that, Scott. So a two score game now. Look at those numbers. He's also picked off serious mode twice. Caused some fumbles as well. And he throws another absolute blind toss. And this time it's picked off. And Eubanks is right there to haul it in. The third interception of the game for Skimbo. And, wow. And most talking to himself, he said the other guy was wide open, Zach. And he had the B wide receiver, as you saw, naked himself up the seam, but forced it into coverage. Unlikely read that you see from Sirius Mo right there. Skim is have, has all the momentum right now. You know, we saw this from Mo against problem in the semifinals. Things just start to stack up. You know, you started off with the intentional grounding. Yep. Yeah, you know, you ended up basically throwing an interception on fourth down. And it's been all skimbo since that moment. Yes, it has. Rodgers. The, just throw it away. The good thing about Mo and what makes him so great, though, Scott, is a lot of players easily go on tilt and get themselves yeah. out of the game in this situation. Mo is a fighter. This is a kid that has a goal, he has a dream, and he's going to stop at nothing to accomplish it, and he won't give up at any point in this game. Yeah, we also saw that in the semifinals, that he continued to battle problem. Yeah, he, he, he has got the mentality of he will keep on fighting until the very end, and that's one of the things I admire most about that young man. So we got a 56-yarder for Steven Guskowski. And he has been clutch for Skimbo. A lot of guys don't spend their salary mm -hmm. cap on kickers. Well, you know what? Yeah, exactly. It's been nine crucial points here in the first gotta two games seven, from Steven Guskowski. That's his longest at 56. Oh, seven there. Yeah, well, We're having that focus man. kicker makes so you feel bad. comfortable doing that, Scott. When the kick meter's moving like it's on rookie, you don't mind getting your boot out for those 56-yard field goals, where if you had a lesser kicker, you might be forced to go for it in those situations. Yeah. Three field goals here in the first two games, 55 yards and further. So an absolute golden boot on Guskowski. And so now trailing by 17 with 3.18 to go here in the first half. Almost a must-score drive for Sirius Mo. Yes, this definitely feels like that, Scott. And Skimbo has been playing lights out offense, but he's arguably been just as impressive on defense thus far. And the thing is, Mo's had his last drive where he was able to move the ball, get it downfield, but not convert in the red zone. If he wants to beat a guy like Mike Skimbo, he's not going to be able to settle for three. He needs to find ways to go get seven, Scott. We get Snuggy on first and ten. And a good-looking route there to Moss. And he'll haul it in at the 46, and that'll move the sticks. And that's the second time that's been open today. Moss just happened to drop the first one. And a big part of that is because Skim likes to send these edge rushers, and that leaves these seams open quickly after the snap. Play action. Rodgers yeah, steps up. Yep. And a good looking pass down to the 25 yard oh, line. Oh, and all damn, of a sudden, Moe's in business. Oh, <laughs> you see them chirping at each other. And this isn't a normal rivalry, Scott. This is a rivalry between two guys that do have a lot of respect yeah. with, for each other. This isn't a D. Jones, Young Kim situation where it's two guys that just blatantly don't like each other. They're rivals, but there's a lot of respect in this rivalry. Kind of like a Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Good, good comparison. And he moves it to the 15. Two-minute warning, trailing by 17. I don't think, I mean, I, you know, I know you always want points, but I think you need seven here. Yeah, you absolutely want to get seven here just to show that you can do it on skim. And then you'll have enough time in this half to maybe get yourself another stop and get some more points. High formation, and Joey Bosa gets run over, and that'll move the chain. So first and 10 from the 13. As the clock continues to run here in the second quarter. And if anybody's going to be able to eventually get a stop on Skimbo's offense. There you go, Mo. There you go. Rumbling, tumbling. 
But Delay to Ivory, and he's had some success out of the backfield. He's definitely had success running this ball. You see him running the draw right there. Successful play, follows his blocker, stumbles forward. Looking like he's going to get in for six here. And Ivory has been huge. And there's a timeout by Skimbo. That is so lucky. I, don't, I just don't understand that. And the ball is marked at the four-inch line, and Sarah Smoke can't believe it. Goes back to Ivory. He's in. And this time uh, shakes him off for a touchdown. And that nah, maybe can get serious Mo going. And what I was saying is Mo is built to get stops on Skimbo. Skimbo spent the second most cap out of anybody on his wide receivers. And we all know his offense is prolific. And we know he utilizes those receivers. And you see the touchdown run right here with Chris Ivory. But the important thing that I want to call out is though Skimbo spent the second most salary cap on his receivers to get them, you know, gets them going, Mo spent the most cap out of anybody on his defensive yeah. backs. So he has the personnel to match up with Skimbo's offense. He just needs to get the stop. And you hear him, one stop and a back, I promise you. Well, show us, Mo. Show us right now. This is a big 77 seconds left in the first half. Two timeouts for both of these titans of Madden. This is a big drive here, Scott. Rodgers. Rolling to the left. Has room. Has time. Throws it to oh. Chad Johnson oh, once again. I just don't get it. I just don't get it, man. Wow. That's frustrating. Shit, Mo had so three defenders in the area, if you see on this replay. So but the problem man. is, oh. Ocho has that positioning to get to the ball before them. Just because you have defenders in the area doesn't mean they're going to make the play. So Skimbo throws a bomb, and Sirius Mo drops the S-bomb. <laughs> let's go for a quick game Our break to Zach. out the game, bro. Last play of the half, Kane the drives game. down, kicks the field goal. He's up 9-0 over Killer Mike at the half. A lot of turnovers in this one, Scott. So big lead, thank you so much. Always good to have Z Farrells keeping us up to date. Fourth quarter folly. So second and 10. Rodgers checks it down to Williams, and there's that stiff that arm. He's at the 21, it'll pin on the spot, Thanks. and they're going to mark him just shy. A good stiff arm, but then followed by a good hit by Mo. Luckily for Skim, he's got Ricky Williams. That's a back that you could pretty much rely on to hold on to that ball on those big hits. And he will sneak it with Rodgers, and that'll get him a fresh set of downs as the clock is under 30 seconds in the half. So we're in a key situation here, though, because Skimbo is up 10. If Mo can hold him to the field goal, still two possession game. But if Skimbo can get in for six, he's going to make it a three possession game, which makes it a lot harder for Sirius Mo to come it's back. And Jimmy Graham from the U pulls it in. This game is, and that puts Sirius Mo in a frustrating situation. Now down 17. Yeah, he is in a oh, tough baby, Jimmy. spot. Big Jimmy one right one, here. If it. someone's going to hold on to it, it's a big six foot seven wide receiver tight end with Jimmy Graham, who also has the athleticism and the hands to go up and get that pass. A lesser tight end's probably dropping that in traffic. And now Dion uh -oh. will cut it back and get the to the 25. And I tell you really what, 27 to 10. I, I, I thought Skimba will. Was a little bit better than Mo, but I didn't know he was this much better. I did not see this coming at all, Scott. I, I absolutely insane. thought this was going to be Mo. I thought Mo was going to jump out on him early, and Skim was going to have to fight back just based off of their previous history. But so far in this first half, it's been all Skimbo all day long. Well, he's the number one seed for a reason, and you can tell. Calm, cool, collected, and he's got a 17-point lead over Sirius Mo, his rival, his nemesis, the guy that's cost him the belt a few times, co yeah. cost him a couple rats. Yeah, yeah, definitely has cost him a lot of money. And Skimbo's usually the person that's used to costing other people money. <laughs> but this is the rare situation where um, a player actually has a history that, you know, he usually comes out on top over Skim. Skim's used to coming out on top. Well, it's been a frustrating first half for Sirius Mo. But Skimbo, the turnovers, and not only the turnovers, but he's turned those into points. 
Yes, and that's super important. The thing that I think is the biggest difference for Skimbo this year compared to previous years is he said he has stopped playing earlier in the year. So when he showed up to the finals last year, he wasn't as prepared. He says he's been playing Madden all year long, Scott, staying up to date with the meta. There's nothing that's going to catch him off guard in this tournament, and he's backed that up so far. Well, we're here at halftime, so Dave and Rico, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. That was a serious first half, just not the kind that serious Mo was looking for. Rico, you started this day off 1-0 with your picks. You picked Mo in this game. What's been happening in that first half? Well, as a lot of us know, Skimbo has trouble with the nickel blitz, and everybody was anticipating Mo running that. If I'd have been carving on the memo that he was going to the Killer Mike school of defense, <laughs> running that 4-6, I would have expected him to get blown out just like Killer Mike did. Well, you can't stop Skimbo in that 4-6. Absolutely. Let's see if he makes some adjustments for that second half. For a little bit more on the other game that's been going on, let's go over to Zach Farley. He is on the wall. Zach, what do you got for us? Canes, I got Killer Mike, I got two players at 0-1 that still want a piece of this prize pool, so they're battling it out right now, there's been a lot of turnovers, but we did have a score, interesting note here, four Canes who punched this one in, you got Dallas Clark, Jordan Reed, Randy Moss, not guys that are known to be great blockers, but when you got Ricky Williams, I guess it just doesn't really matter. You look at this halfback here. Ricky Williams powers it in. There's been picks in the red zone. There's been user strips all over the place. This game's sloppy, but right now it's Canes in the lead. Dave, back to you. Thanks a lot, Zach. I want to remind everybody not to miss out on anything. You can catch all of your highlights for the Madden Championship on YouTube. Just head over there and check out youtube.com slash EA Sports. And we are just getting started here. There is a lot more to come. We have matches all day. Serious Mo, Killer Mike. And then we get into Group B, that D. Jones, Young Kiv matchup. Rico, we know that's going to be serious. We cannot wait on that. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> that is must-see action. I know. It's going to be a good one. I can't, I can't wait. wait. I'm excited for it already. We got Drea down on the field. She is with Serious Mo. Drea? Thanks, Dave. Serious, Skim has said that you're his biggest rival. I'm up here. I can feel the intensity. Describe for the viewers at home what the rhythm and vibe is like up here on the stage in such a big, big matchup. Uh, he's playing really well. Uh, the first, my first drive of the game, I, it was kind of unlucky. You know, he came, randomly came through the hole. He didn't even get blocked or anything. So it was, that's not going to happen often. And then he's playing pretty flawless on offense. I'm not getting any pressure uh, blitzing three guys. So going to have to send the heat in the second half. And uh, if he doesn't score before a half, it's a pretty lucky play, really. He got the best player in the game. He just gets mossed by uh, outdated Jimmy Graham. And it is what it is right now. We'll see, we'll see what happens. How do you get into more synergy offensively in the second half? I have guys running wide open. You know, every pick I threw, I had a guy open. So it's all good. It's all good. We'll figure it out. All right, best of luck in the second half. Let's send it to Scott and RG. Thanks so much, Drea. Well, you know, the, th the, th the key here for Sirius Mo is he's got to do what Skimbo did to him to the first half. you got a whole half to play, but you're going to have to play flawless. Yes. And the thing to me that I like about that interview right there is he's not panicking saying, oh, yeah. I need to change everything up. It's out. He understands that was, there were some mistakes that he made and it's just on him to execute going forward. And that takes a mature player to do that. A lot of players just want to blame the game or blame something else. Mo knows there's things I could do that would put me into this game. I'm going to execute. Let's see if he could pull it off, though. Well, the bad news continues for Sirius Mo as Skimbo will start the half with the ball at the 19-yard line. A 17-point lead for Skimbo. Looking to add to it. Oh, and it's picked go. off. Come on, baby. Jalen oh, Ramsey. The game away. I promise you, wow. he wants to give it away. I promise you, man. It should be, I should be down 13, man. The game is so crazy, man. I promise you. So wants first to give it away. and 10 at the I 15. He does not want to beat what an interception, RG, beat by Ramsey. Me, <laughs> and look at Mo. He's, he, he's getting all riled up. He's getting excited. He got himself some momentum. He just needs to ride it out. So second and eight. Ball at the 13, and Mo. He could get a quick score here to start the half. Just what the doctor ordered, and Ivory. And like he talked about in that halftime talk with Drea,
that seven that he let up was super important because he would have been in prime position to really put the pressure out on Skim. But regardless of what happens on this drive, it's still going to be two Come possessions. On. But that's Come how on. you get yourself back into it if you're the serious one. I promise you, he's yeah, high pointing it to Randy Moss. <laughs> Didn't we tell is. you he was going to fight? Did I tell you the he's kid was going to fight? Take a look at that again, RG. High pointing into Randy Moss in the back of the end zone. Don't get stopped here. I promise you, oh lose the game. Do not gosh, get stopped here. Oh my gosh, there he goes. He's getting some momentum. Do not get stopped Mo here. Mo is talking to Do him, Scott. Get it's getting here. feisty up there. Serious Mo. It's come out oh, on fire here in the second half. The turnover and the quick score. Should be a six point oh, game. Oh man. Five. And now you're dealing with an angry, serious Mo if you're Mike Skimbo, and that's not something you want to deal with on the Madden stick, Scott. 10-point game, Skimbo. Got to somehow ride through this storm. First and 10 from the 24. Rodgers. This time gets it to Ricky Williams. And let's go over to Zach and see what's going on with our side game. Start of the fourth quarter, Killer Mike trails by nine, so he goes up top, one play, 92-yard bomb TD. He is down 9-7, but Kane is on the move. Oh, wow, it's a deep bomb. Oh, in our side game, we got a 10-point game here. Skimbo on the move. And he's still moving, and most people in this situation would be looking to run the ball, but remember, Skimbo not known for running the ball. He actually passes the ball just as much as anybody. So he's going to give Mo an opportunity to make some plays on defense, but it's been proven that making plays on Mike Skim when he's on offense is not easy to do. And he throws it to Chad Johnson. Come on! Who's Joey almost Bosa's got 200 got yards and another big Seriously, grab. Look at and there's an the answer the look at by Skimbo. Yes, and Skimbo is throwing in front of our eyes. Any he answers right Mo. back to Mo Seriously, under pressure. And this is the he's type of throw Aaron Rodgers can make. <laughs> under pressure <laughs> on the run and still throws a strike. And that's why you go invest in an Aaron Rodgers. So, serious Mo. Jukes and jives to the 25. That throw Take a look at Roger. this again. Oh, yeah. Slangs it out right wow. before Bose is about to put the hit on him. That takes some real poise. And if you're Skim, you just answered back to a tough person. That's hint to, that It's tough to answer back to Serious Mo, but he did it. Scream team, baby. And here comes some heat. Skimbo says the scream team. Coming off the edge, and that was Maurice Alexander. Yep, it's again, he's doing a good job of mixing up the pressure from those two defenders right there in the slots. And they both come that time. And Mo doing a nice job. Patience in the pocket. And he finds Nuke Hopkins. Zach, what's going on in the second game? Two-minute warning in this one. Canes kicked a field goal. It's 12 to 7, but Killer Mike is on the move. We'll keep you up to date. So still a one-score game in that one as it winds down. Touchdown. I tell you what, the pressure's oh, starting man. to dial it up by Skimbo. Yes, and he's relentlessly sending it. It's making it hard for Mo to get comfortable in that pocket. It's, it feels like the pressure's coming about 70-30 right now, which can get really frustrating, Scott, because it's not every time. Oh, my. There is a big-time truck stick. When at the 43 and falls forward to the 38-yard line. When people can do what Skimbo's doing, where you can set up your defense the same way every time, but mix the pressure up here and there, it now becomes a situation where as a Madden player, Scott, you have to make a post-snap read instead of a pre-snap read. And that's when things can get very difficult, oh God, and that's when mistakes can happen. Model. That never happens on the stand-up. He's starting to find Ladarius Green, Green the big tight end, right underneath the coverage. and. There's that pass again to Moss, and his knee touches down at the 19. At and and, and Mo's, co Mo's complaining players about players being tired right now, but at the same time, Skimbo's man. playing the same Seriously, exact game really that you're playing, Scott. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been quite a bit of action here in game number two of this Group A. Boy, we got a lot of men to go. Next three weekends is going to be fantabulous. There's a timeout 
by Skimbo. Second and two from the 10. Dang it, Zach. Just maybe want to change personnel and hope for a stop. Yeah, if you're skimming, if you could get a stop here, that would be oh, well. huge. He hits the gap. And oh! look at that shake and bake. And oh. Ivory. Boy. I got one more chance. What a I run. I got one more chance from the fold, man. One more chance. <laughs> and now it's a 10-point game with Sirius Mo. I'm talking the to mics. the bad gods. Look at Ivory. Boom, boom, stumble. Use a truck. Up. I'm in for six. That Ivory is putting in work for Sirius Mo, and he is uh. worth all of the cap that Mo had spent on him. And that's only a 76 overall gold Chris Ivory item. He's always been a guy that's had tremendous carry throughout the years. And he showed it on that one. So we got a 10 point game. That's good preparation by Mo to have Chris Ivory out there. That's a gold player. Most people when building their lineup, you don't you don't go after a Chris Ivory base item, but in this situation, Mo has obviously used him, labbed with him, and is very effective with him. And Ricky Williams maybe picks up a yard. Second and nine. And I'll tell you what, Scott. If Mo is able to get a stop God, here, Skim is going to be feeling the pressure. Game, man. What is wrong with me? Look at the focus. Look at the focus in the serious one. And Rodgers gets rid of it Let's quickly go! and throws an INT. On, He's on his horse. Let's go. And Kraus. I told you. Will fall down you. to the 40 yard line. Win. He does not want to win, man. Come on. Oh my gosh, Mo is up there screaming. He does not want to win. And when you're seeing that type of passion, you've got to believe that serious Mo does want to win. No quit in this kid, Scott. We got ourselves a ball game. First and 10 at the 40. And there's a sack Open your eyes, baby. at the 40-yard line. He'll lose Open a yard. Third sack of the game by Skimbo. Important thing here is that Mo gets himself in field goal range at the very least. He still needs a few more yards in order to and be able to do that. He's play. outside of field goal range, Scott, and already in third down situation. He needs to, at the very least, get into field goal range so he'll be able to kick that field goal and make it one possession if he gets into a fourth and awkward. And he's got Jason Myers out of Jacksonville who doesn't first. have that strong of a leg. First down. And that is a huge Move first on. down at the 30-yard line. Clock is moving. Wow, look at the intensity of Skim. He can feel the momentum kind of drifting towards the Mosif. And Mo, look into the end zone. And we got ourselves a three-point game. Whoa. This is frustrating if you're Skimbo too, Scott. You got your you, opponent you up fold. there yelling at you, telling you you're going to fold. You were up 17 ball. points, ball. and now Mo is all the way back in this I game. This next drive's going to be Come bananas. On, Take a look at this can't again, Archie. An absolute dot in the end zone. The Darius Green has been huge for Mo. He can't do nothing with Nickel. He can't do nothing with Nickel. Wow. I love it. I love it. Getting the players mic'd up was a fantastic <laughs> idea. Shout out to the production crew, whoever on, did baby. that. Because the on, emotion baby. we're seeing from Sirius Mo right Absolutely now is amazing. Listen Absolutely to him. Just listen. Nothing. Of course, he goes quiet. Locked in, first and <laughs> ten. Good times. Skimbo leading by three. 16 seconds to go in the quarter. And this is going down as a classic, my friends. Rodgers. It always is, Scott. Throws across the field, and there is Thomas. Wide open. Oh, and a touchdown saving game, tackle man. at the 36. And throw Dang. up your fours, RG. That's We're so headed to the fourth They're quarter. Up. They're up. If they had me on That's camera, so the fours up. The He's killing them with that play, though. That deep crossing route is getting open over and over again. But the fact that Mo got six on the last drive Dang was it. so important because you can give up plays like that, allow the field goal, and it'll still be one possession. Back and forth between these two. Throws it to the end zone, and, and Thomas wow. is open again. Uh, Deja vu. Anything you can do, I can do better.
better, says Michael Skimbo. <laughs> you I want me to fold? No, this right? isn't, this Matt, isn't laundry days. Mode. We're not folding no type of clothes. We're not folding right, nothing. Hey, hang on, Skim is still I need you to throw a pick for me. Yeah, baby. Make this game easier. What a pass. It's a dog fight. I need you to throw a pick. Oh, uh, they're talking to each other. Skim telling Mo, I, I need you to throw a pick for me. Mo, I need you to lay down, Skim. Both of this one thing that's undeniable in this game, Cole. They both want it. Absolutely. And Mo's been the one that's got How the, the best me, of Skimbo throughout the years. But right now, the number one seed, Michael Skimbo, has got a 10 yeah, point okay. lead over Sirius Mo. But you see how strong Mo's, Mo's okay, mental is. He's right just now. refusing to go away. And at some point, is that going to frustrate Skim? And is Skim going to finally make a big mistake in the fourth quarter? Here comes the pressure. He can't get rid of it. And there is Alexander off the edge. Zach, what's wow. going on in the side match? Last play of the game, Killer Mike's down in the red zone, converted on a couple fourth and tens. He's trying to find a receiver. This ball bounces around, but harmlessly to the turf. Canes with the victory. So Canes moves the one and one. Killer Mike 0 and 2 now in group A. And between these two guys, both these guys 1 and 0. One of these guys is going to move to 2 and 0 in the group. And they've already, being in the groups alone, Scott's already guaranteed you $5,000. Going 2-0 and in your group, you got to assume the winner of this game is going to make it out. Getting out of your group guarantees you an additional $5,000. So you pretty much guarantee yourself ten grand. you can walk away with a W in this one. Big fourth and five with four minutes left in the game. This is big. Mo fading back, throws it to the edge. Let's go! And that's going to be a turnover on downs. And now Skimbo's got the ball at the 28. Play smart, please, dude. Come got to work man. the clock. Play smart. Wow, Skim showing some emotion. He knows that was a big stop. Only 10-point game here, though, Scott. This is still very manageable if you're Mo. You have all three timeouts. There's still a lot of time. The one thing you can't let happen here is a touchdown, though. Three possessions with this much time isn't looking pretty, but two possessions is more than manageable for the serious one. A touchdown here would just about close the door. First and 10 at the 13. And Ricky Williams. Will take it to the three. Wow, that hurts Mo too, because first down, this is going to let Skimbo to keep the clock moving. See if Mo has any goal line defense in the arsenal. And now Sirius Mo's facing two opponents. Skimbo and the clock. As it's coming no up on three minutes no left fumble, in the game. No fumble, no fumble, no fumble. Rodgers will lean forward to the one yard line. A Skimbo. If begging not to fumble. Yeah, if you're Mo, you need to take a page out of True Boy's playbook here and hold this door. You cannot let him in that end zone. Protect the line. He's going to let it tick down the one. He's going to let this clock right there tick down the one, Scott. High formation, goal line. Personnel. And he won't get there. Ah, dang it. Uh oh, this is good clock management, but management by Skim not giving Mo an inch, making the play clock go all the way down to one second before snapping the ball. But Mo getting stingy on the one yard line. We told you the kid's not going to quit even when his opponent's got the ball on the one. Most people think quarterback sneaks a gimme, not against Sirius. Got a game full of turnovers and momentum changes. Whoa! And it's going to bring up a fourth and goal from the one. And the clock is moving. Interesting that Mo didn't take a timeout before the two minute warning. And right here, he's going to let it run as well. And this is it. Is he going to be able to hold this door, Scott? Fourth and goal. Needs a stop to get back in this one. This is big. Again, he's going to wait till that's out one second. 90 seconds left in this one. Got to watch the sneak right here. And he's going to run all the way down and take a timeout. And 
I think he might kick the field goal here. Is he going to kick the field? I, 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 I don't, I don't a touchdown think that, would, I, no, would ice right the game. There. Yeah, don't you don't want there. the field goal because right it's still two possessions. He wants to make this three possessions. He's going for the glory. And he reaches out and gets it done. Oh, that game. And that is possibly the dagger. Wow, that was big right there for Skim. It comes down to a fourth down. Mo uh, fighting, yes. and he still had all three timeouts. If he's able to blow up this QB sneak right here, Scott, he has all kinds of momentum because he's able to go downfield, maybe get some uh, points, and then he still it, has the three it, timeouts to play with to play defense. But at a three-possession game with this much time in the fourth quarter, it is not looking good for Mo. It has been a high-scoring affair. 79 points in total between these competitors. And to be honest, Mo just got off to a slow start. And Skimbo kept his foot on the gas. And here is Green trying to get out of bounds, but he can't. And the clock is tick, tick. And that, ticking away. Something small like that, Mo having the foresight trying to get out of bounds is something you see from an elite Madden player. He's taking real football techniques and trying to utilize them. Most people that play Madden don't even think about that type of stuff, Scott. We we'll talk about the point differential. This could be big for serious Mo. It's a good get a point. touchdown drive here. It's a really good point, Scott. Every point counts when you're talking about group play because we have seen it come down to point differential more than once. He throws it up into traffic and it'll fall to the turf. Second and ten with 46 uh, seconds to go, and he's really going to now be trying to root for Skimbo to beat his buddy Canes in the next game. That's going to be super interesting. Because if Canes, assuming that this game goes the way we think it's going to go, Skimbo's going to walk away with the W. You'll have Skimbo at 2 0, Mo at 1 1, and Kane at 1 1. If Canes beats Skimbo and Skimbo beats Killer Mike, we have a three way tie at 2 and 1. And that's remember, when it'll come down to points. That's yes, that's Thank when it'll you, come man. down to picks because only two people get out of this group. So these, ne these, next, these third matchups in this group are going to be insane, Scott. We got some magic coming up after this. And Sirius Mo throws his fourth INT of the game. And really, that's been the biggest stat, RG. The turnovers. Oh, this was a good game. This was a good game, though, Scott. It, the three possessions, it, it doesn't truly paint the picture of how close this game was, how entertaining it was. Well, the, you know, the, the linchpin in this game was the score by Skimbo at goal. the half. Uh, yes. the and then gets eventual. the ball to start the second half. And Mo just not enough possessions to catch up. Yeah, that touchdown by Jimmy Graham was huge. And we heard Mo call it out at halftime. He said that was a big play. And, um, it ended up being a difference. Well, I'm not going to say yet, but the, we, these guys might see each other again down the road if Sirius Mo can win his final game of the group stage coming up next. But Skimbo, wow, as he absolutely wow, played you. lights out in these first two games, blowing out Killer Mike, and then he comes back and almost nearly serves up a 50-burger. He's still going for it. He's trying to get that <laughs> point diff up. He's trying to score on Mo right here. You know us, RG. We're always. I'm always thinking about what's next on the menu. Oh, <laughs> me and you could do some. We've done some damage we to some menus in our day, haven't we? We have. When we when we come into a town, they they normally shut down the buffets. <laughs> Forty-eight to thirty-one. Skimbo has moved to two and zero in the group. And you can see the respect between these two guys. You know they're rivals, but they talked about that respect. And even Skimbo said, if I, if I don't win the championship, Sirius Mo was a guy that I'd be rooting for. Yeah, they both acknowledge that. Whenever Sirius Mo's in a tournament like this, he's going to be one of the favorites to win it. And you got to think, what a win like that, though, what does it do for Skimbo's confidence? We talked about getting over the hump. We said he had two humps to get over. He got over the first one and beaten Sirius Mo. Now he just needs to finish business and win himself a live event. Well, he's looked really good thus far. And not only on offense, but it's really been the defense and the ability to score off of those turnovers. Yeah, that's been a big thing for Skim and gives 
talked about that. He said one of the most underrated aspects of Skimbo's game is the defense. If you just look at the statistics and the numbers alone, he's statistically one of the best defensive players we have here in the tournament. Let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team. Treya, take it away. Thanks, Scott. Skim, you told me this is your biggest rival. He said you were going to fold <laughs> during the matchup. You didn't. You persevered. What did you think of the job you were able to do today, beating your biggest rival? Uh, it feels good. You know, i got a lot of respect for this guy. Since I've been around, he has been the, ma the best Madden player in the world the past three, four years. So, got a lot of respect for him. And uh, about folding, yeah, I was close. Luckily, I had a huge lead. You know, it, he fought back. That's just the heart he shows on and off Madden. Like, the dude's got heart. So, I knew he wasn't going to go away. What did it mean to you to beat him the way that you were able to do, knowing that he's your biggest rival and knowing that you were able to persevere? He wasn't your kryptonite this time. You got the victory. It just feels good. I mean, uh, the goal right now is to get to the final 16, and I'm one step closer. I got one more game for Canes, and now I'm on that game. All right, and yeah, and Mo, as we relate to you, obviously coming in, you had the momentum to start the second half. You were confident in the interview with me. What would you have done differently, though, throughout the course of that second half today? Uh... Stopped verticals. <laughs> That's really it, you know. Uh, I don't know. I I did what I could, you know. I mean, it was it was tough. I was down 17 nothing without ball. Uh, really got a lucky pick to start the half. My guy's not supposed to play that. He just did, and then I had subbed out. I subbed out my best player uh, back to back games where, and I can't sub him back in because it's a package, and that that ended up hurting because I couldn't do anything. I have a, a dud there, you know, a bad player, so. If I score again, you know, down 10, then it's going to get interesting again. But obviously I didn't, so that's all that just matters. He played good defense. Yeah, you guys have a great rivalry, great friendship. What do you want to say about Skim? He said a lot of great things about you. What does he mean to you as just a competitor and bringing your level of your game up when you play him? Uh, you know, he really does. I, it always looks the same, but... Mm -hmm. It's, it's never the same, you know, I mean, he, he gets it done, you know, especially I, mean, I, I thought he wouldn't be able to today. You know, honestly, I thought, mm -hmm. that, thought the odds were stacked against him just because I thought everybody had a good, good game plan for him. But uh, he's, you know, he's probably the best player this year as far as consistency goes. So shout out to him, you know. All right, competitors, that's what it's all about. Let's send it to Dave and Rico. Thanks a lot.